This short video discusses the diagnosis and resolution of vibration problems on Rotax 912 engines. For more detail on what this video presents, or to get help doing your own vibration analysis, contact the RPX technology team. Step one is to dynamically balance the prop. Most of the time, propeller imbalance is the source of vibration, so this is the place to start. Dynamically balance the prop to see if this procedure eliminates the vibration. When it doesn't, a full spectrum vibration analysis is needed to identify and correct complex vibrations. The Dynavibe GX2 handles both of these tasks. Step two is to do a full spectrum vibration analysis. If a dynamic prop balancing doesn't resolve the vibration, use the Dynavibe GX2 system to perform a full spectrum vibration analysis. Position two Dynavibe accelerometers to measure the vibration frequencies. In this picture, one is mounted on the right carburetor and the second is mounted above the crankshaft near the front of the engine to measure propeller vibration. These mounting locations allow the accelerometers to record different kinds of vibrations, prop and torsional. With the accelerometers in place, collect data using the Dynavibe GX2 while the engine is running and exhibiting the vibration. Step three is to interpret the data. After you've collected your vibration data, first review the velocity mode graph generated by the accelerometer on the gearbox. If the prop is out of balance, it will show the presence of a vibration that occurs once per prop rotation, or what is called a one per vibration. In this example, we also see a vibration of 0.3 inches per second at 1.2 per, indicating that the carburetors need balancing spark plugs are possibly fouled, the valves are sticky, or there's a possible issue with the ignition system. The vibration frequency analysis also reveals the presence of a two per vibration, a vibration that occurs twice per prop rotation. When diagnosing machinery faults using vibration analysis, there are known industrial causes of a two per vibration, such as a bent shaft, angular misalignment, parallel misalignment, misaligned bearings or internal assembly looseness. The two per vibration of this engine measured almost 1.5 inches per second. Ideally there would be no vibration at all, but a vibration of 0.2 inches per second or less is considered acceptable. In this testing, the vibration was so strong at 1.4 inches per second that it was venting gas out of the carburetor onto the exhaust manifold. The presence of a two per vibration links the vibration source to a component that rotates with the prop, and there are only two on this engine, the prop itself and the gearbox. Since the prop had already been dynamically balanced and one accelerometer confirmed the prop was not the source of the vibration, attention fell on the gearbox. Testing the friction torque in the gearbox of the aircraft confirmed that the gearbox was the vibration source. The maximum allowed friction torque is 44 foot-pounds, but for this engine, it tested at 66 foot-pounds, significantly out of spec. With this information, the owner can now work directly with the engine manufacturer to identify a permanent fix to the problem. No additional trial and error diagnosis is necessary because there is now certainty about the source of the vibration. In this chart, a second taller peak appears to the right of the 2 per vibration. This peak is a 2.43 per vibration essentially a variation in the torque of the engine that occurs with every other cylinder firing. There is a difference in the intake links on the intake manifold of the Rotax 912, and this difference causes a torsional vibration in the engine that goes away when cruise RPM is reached. Step 4 is to address the source of the vibration. The Dynavibe GX2 full spectrum vibration analysis will pinpoint the source of the vibration. Review the velocity mode graph to see where the spikes occur. If the velocity mode graph shows a one per spike, dynamically balancing the prop should resolve the vibration. If the velocity mode graph shows a 1.2 per spike, balance the carbs per Rotax maintenance guidelines to resolve the vibration. If the left and right carbs are not balanced, one could be giving more gas to its half of the engine than the other carb, causing a vibration. Other things to check that can cause a 1.2 per vibration are fouled spark plugs, sticky valves or possible issues with the ignition system. A two per spike on the velocity mode graph for this engine indicates a gearbox issue. When this is the case, work with the engine manufacturer 
to determine the cause of the gearbox vibration. A 2.43 per spike is seen on all these engines and it is essentially a variation in the torque of the engine that occurs with every other cylinder firing. As pictured here, there is a difference in intake lengths on the intake manifold of this engine with the front cylinder having a longer flow path than the back cylinder. This difference in front back airflow causes a torsional vibration in the engine. This vibration goes away as RPM is increased into typical cruise RPM and therefore is not a concern. Diagnosing complex vibrations requires a system that does full spectrum analysis using two accelerometers. The RPX Dynavibe GX2 is a second generation propeller balancing system and a full spectrum vibration analyzer. To learn more or consult with the RPX team about diagnosing complex vibration issues, contact RPX by visiting the website at rpxtech.com, emailing sales at rpxtech.com, or calling 469-708-8779.